Hey everybody, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations and this is your daily reading for September 22nd, 2016. I'd like to remind everybody that this is a general reading so it may not resonate with everybody but you know, hopefully we can get some insight into the energies of the day. So I'm feeling like we start off, uh, we've got the Knight of Swords swooping in here. Um, and I'm feeling like today somebody approaches you with some sort of proposition, some sort of proposal. Um, there's some information that this person may be bringing to you. Before you act on it, though, I wouldn't move too quickly on whatever this is that the Knight of Swords is bringing. And the Knight of Swords more than likely is going to be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius because the swords are air signs. So, yes, I'm feeling like that this Knight of Swords swoops in on you in the early part of the day and offers up something or is asking you to collaborate with him or her on something. But again, I think that this is something that you should stop and think about before you start thinking really big. It may sound really good. The Knight of Swords may come in with all the right things to say, and it may sound really good. But before you make a move, I would stop and think about it. And the reason why is because the Four of Coins is coming up reversed. And with the four of coins reversed, if he was upright, he's got this nice little chest here. And if he was upright, those coins would remain in that chest. That would mean that he was keeping them. But when he's reversed, he loses his coins. So I'm feeling like with whomever this is that comes into you with some sort of proposal or proposition or offer today, uh, they know all the right things to say, but I don't know that this is something that is really legit. That is something that is going to be worth your while. As a matter of fact, I feel like dealing with this person, if you're not careful, if you move too quickly, you stand to lose. The other thing that I'm seeing is that maybe um, on yesterday I talked about, because the four coins showed up yesterday as well. So I feel like this is a continuation of um, there being a problem with money. Maybe whatever it was that you came into yesterday, you moved too quickly, you blew it all at once, and you're back in the same position today feeling like you don't have enough to sustain yourself, feeling like you don't have enough to um, do the things you want to do or get the things that you need. Whereas yesterday it was a matter of you feeling like you had no choice, you were a victim of the circumstance, uh, and I said to have faith because something would come up. I feel like that something may have come up, but you didn't really think it through. You really didn't think about how you were going to utilize the resources that were given to you. And now you're back in the same position of feeling like you don't have enough to sustain you. So, you know, I guess the only thing I really want to say about that is... You know, I have to say this, too, before I, I sign off. As I was dealing the cards, I saw the Five of Cups pop out, and I saw the Three of Cups pop out. I saw the Death card pop out. Maybe you got some money yesterday, and you, rather than do what you needed to do, you decided to celebrate and have a good time. Maybe with some friends or a loved one. You know, and that's fine. That's fine. You know, we all need to have a good time. But you, uh, may maybe you didn't really think it through. 
and now you're back in the same position with the five of cups i feel like now you are fretting over what you did on yesterday uh, and the three of cups i feel like was the celebrating that you did with loved ones uh, you know, with your friends going out to kick it, whatever, that money that maybe came to you on yesterday, you just blew it having a good time. And the death card, you know, where you had gotten some resources, now you don't have those resources again. So you came, you, you were without, you came into, and then you ended up without again. A really quick transformation in the course of the day. And so now we are right back to square one, feeling like we don't have enough to sustain us. So in that case, all I can say, if if that was the case, all I can say about that is maybe it's a lesson learned. However, if this Knight of Swords that is, um, if this is not you, if this is somebody that is going to be coming into your space today, somebody that you have to deal with, uh, stop and think before you act. Listen to what they're saying because they may just be some smooth talker. So be sure that you understand what it is that they are proposing to you, where it is that they are coming from, and what it is that you stand to get out of it. Because if you're not clear and if you move too quickly, chances are um, you'll end up without once again. So be very cautious of the smooth talker that might come through to you today. And that is the way that I see it. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you again tomorrow.